What's up guys, Chaz here with Side Hustle Network and in today's video, we are going to kickstart a new series called the eBay Reboot. What is the eBay Reboot? It is simply me bringing back some life into our now dead eBay store. What happened was we built an Amazon FBA business. We built an Amazon FBA prep center, centered everything around Amazon. Over the last nine months, we haven't done anything with eBay. Fortunately, we had built up about 900 listings. So throughout the last nine months, we've had these just trickle in sales, um, maybe anywhere from three to five sales per week, nothing major. They've all been trickling in. I finally decided, you know, I'm just gonna sit down, see where our eBay account is at. It had a rolling total of $900 made in sales over the last 30 days. And that's when I just put my foot down and thought, okay, I'm done. Let's get this thing back in action and build it the right way. Now in this episode, you are going to see right above me here inside of our warehouse, we have an upstairs full of eBay inventory. Some of it is listed, some of it is not. There's thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff up there that needs to be listed now. So in this series, my goal is to simply just document the entire process of getting our eBay store back up and rolling. I would love to get this thing to somewhere around five grand per month in sales. Ultimately get it back up to where it was at one point, which was about 10 grand in sales. The only way to do that is to simply stop being lazy about it, make it a daily habit to just get five or 10 listings up per day. Go back through all of our old listings and we have a few tricks that we can do. We can try to unlist some of the old ones and relist them as sell similar, kind of the refresh to a listing, if you will, where you can go back through and run some promotions. We can put things on promoted. We can run sales, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna go through, tweak the old stuff, add a bunch of new stuff. My goal is just to get five or 10 listings up every single day. And I'm gonna document the whole process in a weekly series. So this is episode one where I'm going to start with with the basics of just showing you guys my mess up there. I'll show you guys in this video what I'm going to do as far as getting the actual organization back all the way over to what I'm going to be doing as far as taking those first five or 10 products and doing the photos. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I list the titles that I make, all that info, how I ship products, especially shipping a lot of different types of products. I have different ways to package things. All of that's gonna be dumped into this series. Episode one is gonna focus primarily just on getting the upstairs a little bit more clean and organized taking the first batch of photos, getting the first listings up, and then hopefully things will start moving and selling a little bit quicker over, quicker over the next few days. So with that mouthful being said, let's get to work, get upstairs, and show you guys the, uh, the situation that we caused. So hopefully you guys enjoy this new series that we're dropping, kind of going old school content, um, the kind of behind the scenes documenting we used to do back in the day. We've been reselling online for about five years. Amazon FBA is kind of the bread and butter to our business um, incorporated with now our prep center where we ship other products for Amazon FBA sellers. Bringing eBay back into the mix is going to be an amazing thing. It's kind of a break from the tedious Amazon stuff. eBay is a lot more fun as far as the treasure hunter part of it, taking the photos. I enjoy that stuff a lot more than I do with typically just the Amazon stuff. You're taking a product and just slapping a label on it, putting it in a poly bag sometimes and just shipping it away. So eBay, I definitely miss it, which is weird. I never thought I would say that. And there's a really solid potential to make money, especially with the stuff I have upstairs. So without further ado, let's get over there, show you guys what we're working with. All right, so here begins the climb to the upstairs. All of that up there is 100% eBay. As you guys can see, we got to the point where we're just tossing crap up here. I am literally showing you as raw behind the scenes as you can get right now. This is my current situation. I have no workable space. This is the little photo box I use. The little table it's sitting on. There needs to be a system in place where we can go from inbound, which technically this shelf started as, to photo process, to being binned away in a nice organized fashion, to clean aisles, to listing, to shipping. So, episode one is basically cleaning. Let's go. Step one, honestly, I'm at that point where it's like, where do I even start? Literally have a walkway full of crap too. So what I'm thinking is 
Some of this is photoed, some of it is not. I think I'm just gonna start from scratch so I don't have to dig back through my old photo library and try to find what is photoed and then find the item. I'm just gonna start from scratch, bin by bin. So I need to make some type of walkway here, start by cleaning this off to make it workable, start getting some photos done and just going through bin by bin at this point. one basically pulling everything into these two bins and some of these boxes here anything that i can just start listing right away uh start getting this photo box all cleaned off so i can start using that and then i'm pulling out stuff i think would do well locally like these uh cricut cutters 14.99 so that should be an easy 30 40 bucks um locally saves us the shipping so i'm going to list those today so you can get those sold just some of this bigger stuff taking up room i'm not exactly sure if this is the best shelving situation that's all trista's clothing stuff she's going to go through i have this row and this row um, for now i think i'm just going to leave it up like that maybe turn this one sideways give me a little more working space here and then as far as this stuff i'm gonna go through pull out anything that's not worth at least 25 30 bucks and just get rid of it honestly it's not even worth the time start focusing on some higher asp items i think what i'm going to do is literally go bin by bin so i'll start um, with the bottom right pull that out photo everything put it back in it so i can do uh, proper custom skews as you guys can see these used to be skewed back at our old warehouse when they were in order um, now they're not. So I'm going to go through and re-skew everything. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it is pull it out bin by bin, get the photos done. Biggest tip right now is even though I'm going to go through and maybe not today, we're kind of a little short on time today, but um, tomorrow when I come in here, I'm going to spend a good probably three hours doing nothing but photos. I'm going to have tons of photos of different items and it's easy to want to go on a listing spree and just list everything at once which may seem like a decent idea here at Christmas time. But instead of bulk uploading everything at once, what is much better to do is just trickle in every single day. eBay loves daily consistency and activity. So focus on trickling in your inventory, um, getting those listings up rather than just bulk loading everything at once. Just went downstairs, tested both the crickets. Um, one of them doesn't work, doesn't come with a charger. So that one's going, uh, basically was going to go in the trash. And then one of our helpers, Jamie, was like, hey, I'll take it. So she gets a free one. And then uh, the other one was complete set working. Um, I paid 10 bucks for it at the Goodwill bins. And she's like, hey, I'll take it. So 20 bucks, $10 quick profit just to get it done. Don't take photos. Don't deal with local pickups or anything like that. Now back up here, continue working. First update, I decided let's make sense left to right. Start doing this the correct way. So bins, um, I don't know if I want to do like A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3. I probably will stick with that method. That's what we did at the old place. So I went through, um, I cross-checked the stuff that is listed. So this bin, we'll call this A1, is officially listed up for sale. But right now what I'm doing is I'm cherry picking. I'm going through picking out the stuff that I know should be selling really well right now, especially we're a few days out from Christmas. I mean, look what I have in here. I have freaking, I have two wave birds with the adapters. Old school N64 controllers. I got a big old bag of connects. I got super cheap, really good shoes. Freaking complete inbox N64. Like this is stuff that's just been hanging out up here. Next up is a step I don't want to do, but if I'm gonna be up here organizing and cleaning, I might as well just get it done now. When I originally built these, I did not know that you're supposed to build so that lip is up top so you could just slide the bins off easily because I did not read the directions. What happens with these crappy shelves is this bows down. So I'm gonna go through, not hard to do, just have to pop these and reverse them um, so we can have some easy pulling. Like if we need to pull inventory, that's just not okay. It'd be nice to be able to have this just slide right up. So might as well get that done while I'm up here. Downfall of being upstairs, give you guys a bird's eye view in a warehouse. All the heat that we have turned on down there chills up here. So it may not be warm down there, but it's freaking hot up here. I'm extremely happy with that. These 
Yeah, they're not the best shells. You can see they're still, they, they're not meant to bear much weight. These are just little cheap ones we had gotten at uh, Lowe's a while back, but now they can just slide as I need them instead of having to finagle with them. I'm leaving the bottom ones as is because the bottom I usually pull up anyways. So that's not too bad. It kind of locks them in place down there. Since that is now organized to my liking, I have a little bit of a path to work with now. I have a whole box um, and two big bins full of stuff I need to go ahead and start photoing. So Amazon photo box, uh, nothing fancy. I gotta clean this thing up. You can tell it hasn't been used in a while. That is dirty. So now we get to work taking photos. I'm actually just using my phone, which is the iPhone XS Max. So it's not even, it's not the 11, it's not the 12, the new ones that are out. We've messed around with having a legit camera, an actual DSLR. Took a bunch of photos that way for a while. And you know what? Your phones have built-in cameras that are fantastic as they are. Just use a little contrast adjustment that you can do on your iPhone. Maybe using the white background tool with eBay and you're gonna be good to go. So now my typical process, wow, that is bright light typical process of eBay photos. I do everything in batches for the most part. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna take a bunch of photos up front. I have about 30 to 45 minutes until we gotta head out. We're actually taking the kiddos to see Santa tonight. So now in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to take photos of as many products as I can. So I have a backlog of photos so that when I have downtime, maybe tonight, when I'm chilling on the couch, I can get five listings up real quick and then five more first thing tomorrow morning. My goal starting tomorrow is to start doing 10 a day minimum. As you guys can see, we have a ton of inventory up here. So we're in a very fortunate place where I don't need to go out and source for a while. So the whole goal with this episode is just to show you guys what we're starting with here. It's not clean, it's not pretty, but we're going to work with what we got and get it done. Now for your photos, typically what I do, like I mentioned, I use, just use my typical phone camera. What I'm going to do is take a minimum of four photos per item. Typically I'll do front, back, side, side. And then after that, if you have any type of scratches, box damage, any type of unique features of an item, you take extra photos of that. I do all my listing for my phone for the most part. If I'm doing batches, so when I'm doing a sit down and actually hammer out 10 of them, it's a little bit quicker for me to create the drafts on my computer and then I'll go onto the phone and upload the photos that way. Or I can airdrop the photos off my phone onto my computer and just get it all done in one shot. I've timed them both out. It's about the same um, pace, the same amount of time for me either way. So aside from that, let me get some photos done. All right, so photoing shoes and realize um, always check the bottoms if you source from Ross because most of the time they're going to be putting some of these uh, marker prices on here. Easy way to get this off. You can use different stuff like lighter fluid or whatever floats your boat. Goo Gone works out fine for us in a rag. Literally just rubs right off on these smooth surfaces. Sometimes they'll write it on the actual rubber on some of the shoes. A little more difficult to get off, but it usually pops right off. I am definitely happy with that so far. I got 25 items photoed and put away. So bins A1 and A2 are now complete. And I basically will do that every single day and just chip away at it. Even if it's just for 30 minutes a day, just consistent daily action is gonna help clean this whole thing up, make it an actual system that is running again. All right, so it's the next morning. I am here at the office. Um, my computer is dead dead so it's going to take a minute to boot up so while that is booting up i'm going to grab some of the photos i took last night and get these uploaded i'm going to shoot for five listings right now go work in the warehouse for a bit and then i'll get my last five listings up tonight um, so this is a prime example of why i like to have a library of product photos ready to go so when i have little tiny chunks of downtime like this instead of just wasting time doing something non-productive i can actually get a few listings up All right, so we got the five listings up and just took under 15-ish minutes, give or take. And that's with doing a tiny bit of research in there just to get some comps on pricing. Um, so we got these first five items, a tap handle, HP cartridge, 
I uh, got this dual HDMI adapter, a remote, and a scale. As you guys probably saw, a very simple listing process is what I stick with. I do a search based on what I'm looking for, go to solds, and then I'll just sell similar on someone else's listing. That way it copies all the main keywords and tags. If I feel I can make a better title, I'll move the wording around or add stuff in. We always do free shipping. We typically will do something like you know $89.95 instead of $89.99. Typically, if people are doing a search and searching by lowest price, that will help you get a tiny bit of an advantage. Free shipping, free returns, all that good stuff. And for now, we just always do buy it now. We don't really mess around with auctions too much unless it's been sitting for a long time. We just want to get rid of it. We'll put it up for auction. I typically in the past never messed around too much with best offers because the price I set was the price I wanted. Obviously, I'm looking to just grow this store a little bit quicker this round. So I'm going to be doing best offer on pretty much every single item that comes up here. So first five are done. Took less than 15 minutes. 15 minutes a day to do five listings. Now, if you're adding in the time it took to do the photos and all that, it's a little bit more time added in. But point being, I've been procrastinating for so long all year to just do 15 minutes of work to get a few listings up. So feels good. So now I'm gonna go throughout my normal work day here on the Amazon side of things between our prep center and our own account. And then tonight I'll sit down and hammer out five more listings. So 10 a day is gonna be the goal for, for this challenge, this reboot, this revival. I'm not quite sure what we're calling the series yet. All right, so about an hour later, I just was out here doing some Amazon shipping and I sold that scale for 125. These in working condition were going for about 200. I don't have a power adapter and it's untested. So I will definitely take 125. I paid about $5 for that. All right, so I'm gonna go pull these to ship, sold the scale and also this guy, I'll show you what this is. All right, now we're up here. As you can see, this is where I left off but we have a little bit of walking room in here now. All right, so got the scale here. And then the Nickelodeon Blast Pack I had already listed, but this is a pretty sweet one right here. I actually paid up on this a little bit. Um, had to get this for $60, but it did sell for 175, so I was happy with that. So we got our two items. Gonna go take these downstairs, show you how we're shipping. All right, so typically if this were like a 20 or $30 item, I would probably just bubble wrap this, put it in something um, like this poly mailer, or I can probably squeeze this into a padded flat rate to get the cheapest price. Sold for 175 bucks though, so I'm gonna box this. I'll go find a box that can fit this. The scale probably will get a larger box, pad this a little bit, and then cut the box down. So we have a fair amount of Uline boxes that we keep up there for different items like this. This is the 1199. Item like this will fit pretty much snug inside of here. A lot of extra space. So I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit and add a little bit of bubbles on the top here. All right, then we have the final product here. Still fairly lightweight, so it shouldn't cost too much. Gonna go USPS priority. One pound will go up to 11 ounces. Now plug this in. USPS priority, 11 bucks. Next for the scale, going to do a similar method. Obviously a little bit bigger box. We have these lowest boxes we use for our Amazon business. I'll use one of these. This is 14 by 14. So 18 by 18 on this box is pretty much a good fit. I'm gonna use some of this bubble wrap that we have here. Drop it in the bottom, cut this box down. This guy is seven pounds. I'm just gonna round that up to 10 ounces and we cut this down so it's gonna be 18 by 18 by seven. And that's why we always tell people to list your bigger items, FedEx, because FedEx ground is going to be 15.93. Go got our Nickelodeon one right there, and then those are all my regular Amazon orders I did this morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially at the end point of the video, but I wanna show you guys real quick. I am back on listing. Um, I know I said I wanna set a target of 10 a day as far as listings go. I think I'm actually gonna cut that back to just five. Primarily because as I'm going through this, there's a lot of bigger items. So even though we have a lot of totes, there's actually not that many items. Um, so I think I'm gonna blow through 10 a day pretty quick. So because I really don't wanna have to go out and source for a little bit, I'm going to just focus on five a day. First up today, I'm going to be doing a 
Samsung NX2000 camera. I got this whole thing with an extra lens for 60 bucks. Should be able to sell for about 200-ish, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, got some Marc Jacobs honey perfume, one of these old school reusable hot cups. This was the 2018 edition, 2019, whenever those first came out. Got one of these guys and then I found this beauty bag for four bucks and in the store, usually I don't get this kind of stuff too much, but in the store, I looked up some of these individual characters. Some of these guys were selling for about $10 each. So hopefully we got some good stuff in there. I'm just gonna throw it up as a big lot and um, see if I can look up some of these individual parts. So there you go for episode one. I just wanted to show you guys the process of getting back into this thing as far as the eBay world goes. It's definitely a struggle to battle the uh, Amazon side because that is the full-time gig and then starting to implement some of this eBay stuff back into it. Like right now it's 6.30 p.m. The team um, left about an hour ago from their shift. Tristan and I are still here finishing up some stuff. I'm gonna hop up here, get these five photos done real quick so I can get these listed. Sales, shockingly, guess what? Have increased over the last four days since you saw that first clip go up here. So it's amazing what happens when you just take your death pile items and list them. On top of listing them, I forgot to take our entire store off a five day handling time from when we went on vacation. So I switched everything back over to one business day handling time, free shipping across the board. Um, of course, we wiggle that into our pricing. And we've been seeing about three to four sales per day kick in. A lot of the items that I've been listing during this video have already sold. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a what sold video in the next episode. It's been episode one of the eBay reboot. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're gonna be sharing what has sold so far. Um, we can even break down into some numbers if you guys wanna see more on, on the number side. Comment below, let us know what kind of info you wanna see, but we can break down uh, per item cost and then what it sold for, what the net profit was, etc. But if you guys enjoy these types of videos, please let us know, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Comment below if you have any other ideas on different series and videos like this one you wanna see. It's been Chad, Side Hustle Network. We'll see you in episode two. I switch now You think you just flip the switch now I switch now You got it down